Hello, this is um, this is another carnivorous plant terrarium update. Um, sorry, since I haven't do more updates, it's because I had a lot of exam tests um projects. I had to take the SAT and the College Board, so a lot of study. But right now I'm free, so I'm gonna give you the update. There has been a lot of changes. Let's start with the carnivorous plant terrarium. Right over there, you can see there's a. This is a mini bug garden. Um, those are Drosera intermediate cubus. They have the right coloration since there's a lot of lighting. There's back over there. That's I think that's Utricularia. Um, and that over there, that grass thing. I think it's Spagnum moss. Well, not Spagnum, but it's moss. There, that one over there. It's preparing to get seeds. Hope to collect them. And those are two. If you're wondering about the seeds that I did one in one of my updates they're all gone just little just I could see like three or four I don't know and right now I can't see them oh there they there are they're really baby so I don't know if you can see them very well they're right over there Sorry for the camera quality, but those are the two spots over there, and there's another one, and two more over there. There are five. Baby dresser intermediate cubus. Do you see them? Over there. One, two, three, four, five. Five baby seedlings. But the other ones, they're all gone. Sadly. Right over here, I got the Drosera spatulata um, leaf propagation. You can see over there, it's doing really great, really nice, really little, but um, it got really big. If you can see, the best thing to do so they can grow very fast is just feed them. That one over there, I got it today from from one side from one of my Drosera's Padalatis. These are just pigeon sundews that I got from over here. Right over there, you can see this is um, all moss, some utricularia. You can see the any flower stalks. I don't know when they're gonna start flowering. I haven't seen the flower. My pigeon sundews are doing really well. They flower today too. They're producing a lot of flower stalks, but I don't know if they can be propagated by seeds or just um, Gemi, and I'm wondering when the Gemi is going to start growing. Way back there, over there, you can see Drosera capensis in our leaf. It's gone really big, really, um, really beautiful. You can see a lot of dew. My Drosera's Padalata that I thought it was dead uh, right now got one leaf that has two on it so I'm really happy and there's another one coming up. You can see um, there's one of the flower stalks. Soon I can collect seeds and this one is the other flower stalk. I don't know if they're ready to collect but I'm just hoping you guys can help me. Um, right over here, this is, this is not the mother plant, but I think it's turning into a mother one, since it has really big leaves, and it's start, and it's starting to flower, you can see, right over there, yep, um, right over here I got all the bot garden, I transplanted all my Venus's flytrap to single pots um, until since it's really near the dormancy process so it could be really fast. You can see it has a lot of traps. It has 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 traps and 2 forming from the big one. And the baby ones are coming up too. There is a baby one in this big mouth over here. I'm a little bit scared that if it's um, if it close, it will kill the little trap. This one over here has really good coloration. I like it. It's like a watermelon color. Um, right over there, my pink Venus. It has a lot of baby traps, if you can see. I think there's like maybe seven to eight um, plants over there, but since they're little, they don't have yet roots. So when they get a little bit bigger and develop roots, I will get them separate. Do the propagation process. Right over here, my Saracenia. Don't know yet the Saracenia, which type it is. Um, it's right now it has five pictures and there's the six the six yeah um, way over there well let me move the, the lights right over here you can see all my baby Venus's fly traps they're doing really well even the seedlings a lot of traps some of, some, some of them are dead but it's because they have been eating a lot and right over here I have sphagnum growing red sphagnum too that it came and some drosera uh, drosera spatulatus leaf cuttings to see if they I got more baby ones so yeah, that's it from the carnivorous plant terrarium. Moving to the tropical terrarium. Um, if you can see over here, there has been a lot of change in the orchids. It's flowering. Um, I'm really excited. I'm hoping my girlfriend, when she comes here to visit me, the flowers can come up. And I think I'm going to give it to her. But I really like orchids since they remind me of my girlfriend and my grandma um yeah those are the orchids flowers right over there that drosara capensis over there if you can see the last update this one was the one that start flowering that has the little baby little flower stalk it has gotten big like over there um, Drosera spatulata over there is doing great. A lot of dew. Two flower stalks. You can see over there that's baby flower over there. The little pink thing over there. And the other one is way back over there. This is the the Drosera capensis narrow leaf um, mother plant. You can see how high is the flower stalk. You can see over there the flowers. I don't know when to start collecting the seeds. And it's way over there. It's really high. I think I'm going to get a lot of seeds. Um, and the other orchid is this one. It has been really big. What I'm wondering which type of orchid is this one. And when is it going to start flowering. So yeah, that's it. Uh, 